Y'all need to get into this dude right here. This is the epitome. This guy here. This is the epitome of an alpha male, if you ask me. So, so, yeah, we're going to be talking about, you know, Valentine's Day fragrances and fragrances to help get the mood right. So, we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, I got a small array of fragrances right here. We're going to go in no particular order. I'm just going to talk about, you know, what I think will, will get you there or what will uh, be pleasing to the to the opposite sex. So we're gonna start that off with the uh, Tom Ford. This is a Tom Ford. This is this is a secret weapon right here because not everybody wears this in the States, but overseas, this right here is what gets it done. This is Tom Ford anthracite. And some people say anthracite, but I think it's pronounced anthracite. And this here, it's, it's different. This is why I only have a small bottle because this is like um, Gotham. You know how the, the mood is dark, how it's dark, dreary. This right here will make you stand out in those situations. This is a woody, warm, spicy, fresh, citrus, leathery, herbal scent. This, this, this shows dominance and power. So uh, when Tom Ford brought this out, he knew what he was doing. I didn't like it when I first smelled it. It, it grew on me. But I had the other, um, the Noir, the uh, Noir Extreme, my bad. I had the Noir Extreme. So I ran out and got this one, didn't smell it, just bought it. And then when I came home, you know, the first time I didn't like it, then, you know, I went ahead and gave it a try. I found out I wasn't wearing it right because I tried to wear it um, casually. This is not a casual fragrance. So uh, with Valentine's Day coming up, you want to dress up dark with this. You want to, like, uh, the... The man in black look, the 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 dark stranger look. That's what you want, you know, like a uh, black suit, white shirt, black tie, or black bishop collar, dark gray suit, or a uh, wolfhound jacket, wolfhound tooth, sorry, hound's tooth, black and white jacket with the black slacks. That's how you want to rock this. This that Szechuan pepper. Oh my God, and that ginger. Yeah, you can smell that in here. And the, there's some birch wood, some cedar, some amber, some jasmine. This is this is a powerful scent here. This is this is boardroom right here. This is a lovely, lovely scent. This is only an alpha or a sigma male can pull this off. This is this is this is this speaks presence when you step in with this on, and you're gonna be noticed. So if you go into like a fancy dinner, if you go into a fancy dinner, or like I said, get the horse-drawn carriage ride, or uh, how we have here, uh, I did a video on it a while back, the the sunset boat ride. So I'm sure they have that in other cities, or the gondola rides. I know they have that in other cities because we have it here. So I'm sure other major cities have it. Uh, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee originally. They have the riverboat ride there. So if you're doing the late night uh, riverboat ride there with the um, with the uh, the buffet dinner, if they still have the buffet dinner, I, I don't know with the uh, lockdowns and stuff going on. I don't know if they still have that. But man, get this in your rotation for Valentine's Day. So this is the first one on the list, but they're in no particular order. But get this in your rotation list. Is this Jim? You know, Kevin Samuels came down here to Dallas and bought the last damn bottle. So I had to get Marcos over there at the conservatory to order it so I could have this. But he suggested it, and man, Kevin Samuels, man, your ass knocked it out the park with this with this choice right here, dude. See, that's why I, I like Kevin Samuels, man. Kevin Samuels is a Kevin Samuels is a true Renaissance man. 
And a true accomplished renaissance man, y'all need to leave him alone. Y'all constantly trying to pick on dude for telling y'all the truth. And I know this is a little sidebar from the uh, the video, but you know we need more more people, you know, just telling the truth nowadays. Because like I say, y'all want to go over there and troll him and all that. And where did he lie? Where did he lie? That's all I got to say. Now, I'll probably speak on that some more later on, but he has not lied. Everything he has spoke has been true. So, like I said, this here is a gem right here. This is Dark as Night by Henry Rose. This is Michelle Pfeiffer's company. I don't know if you would call this a niche or not because I don't know if they make anything else, but, you know, me personally, I don't care. Niche, designer, indie. As long as it smells good, at the end of the day, you're not you're not taking the bottle with you. You're not wearing it around your neck. You're not wearing it on your fingers or arm or whatever. So nobody really knows what you're wearing, what you spent on it. At the end of the day, and even you know, uh, people say stuff smells uh, synthetic. Hell, it's all synthetic. Nobody's crushing up real fruit or real flowers or whatever putting in it. It's this chemical smells. It's all synthetic. So. Um, with that being said, they knocked this out the park. This is an earthy patchouli, vanilla bean, vetiver, and they said green grass, but you know the rock star in this is the vanilla with that earthy patchouli. And man, when this settles in, oh my god, dude, you, mm. I see. Uh, if you go into a play or a show or the opera. This, this would be the one. This is amazing. I love this. Mm. It's my favorite. This would be my scent of the night. I dig in this. My scent of the night. I'm digging this. This is, oh my God. You know, this is, whoever the knows behind this is a stalwart in the fragrance community. I, I'm glad I got introduced to this one. This fragrance is amazing. Get that in your rotation. If, if you don't buy anything else I suggest, that should be the one. If you want to smell accomplished, that's it. That right there, that's going to command attention. Trust me on it. That is an amazing, beautiful scent. It's got a three-foot scent trail. Uh, it lasts, you're going to get eight hours, sometimes eight hours plus if you spray it on your wardrobe. Get that in your fragrance rotation. Get that in your fragrance wardrobe. Year round, that's going to get you in there. Trust me. You're going to love, you're going to love that. That, oh my God. I, I could go on all day on that one. My next fragrance is this. Mm. This is Louis Vuitton Ombre Nomad. Oh, I love this. I don't wear it often because it's hard to get it in uh, in Dallas. Uh, they have a Louis Vuitton store here, but they didn't carry this. I had to have them order it. They ordered it from the Louis Vuitton boutique in Houston, and it shipped, shipped there, and I had to go pick it up. But what I do like about this, it's... Uh, Three three thirty three fifty retail. I forgot what I paid for it, but um, when you run out, you can take the bottle back, and for one hundred and twenty dollars, they refill it for you with this fragrance. So that's good. And this is a powerful, amazing oud rose, uh, benzoin, raspberry, ambery scent. Uh, it puts you in the mind of. Uh, it puts you in the mind of Santal Royale, but just more, that's a deeper, darker, more uh, robust scent. So, yeah, it's, you wear that, and you, you get your masculine frame on, your masculine demeanor, asymmetrical, but sitting inviting, and you're going to win with that. That is an amazing scent. I know the price point is up there, but trust me, it is worth every penny. I, you know, I don't normally advocate spending three, four hundred dollars on a fragrance, but 
sometimes you smell a scent like that and you just have to pull the trigger. And that was the case with that one. Sometimes you just have to pull the trigger. So that was one of those grab life by the horns type things. Sometimes I look back and regret it. But, hey, you only live once. So, hey, I had to have that one. And I am proud to have that in my rotation. So, like I said, Valentine's Day is coming up. The cool weather is here. And that's one you want to get into your fragrance wardrobe. Trust me on this. But definitely not least is Lethal. This has so many notes that I'm not going to, by doer, I'm not going to go into all the notes on this. But trust, this is a note-heavy powerhouse. It has a boozy scent to it. And um, I did another video uh, over the summer where I mentioned this, but I didn't show it and didn't talk about it. I mixed this with uh, Oud Bourbon because Oud Bourbon, no Oud. No bourbon. Smells good. No oud. No bourbon. So I uh I take this and blend it with that to get that uh that boozy note that I was looking for when I bought that. But uh the this is a note heavy powerhouse. I mean it's amazing. And uh you wear this, I mean you're gonna smell that bergamot, the lavender, the vanilla. The cedar, the vanilla, the I was gonna say vanilla, the tonka, and it's it's just uh, geranium, labdamin. I mean, it's, it is note heavy. It's when I looked up the notes, cause I mean, man, those folks at Dua they blend stuff so well, man. I got I had so many Dua fragrances, and I I'm not on the list, so I I pay for all of mine. But I mean, when when you when you blend something like this, this is a masterpiece right here. And it's not a, um, to my knowledge, it's not a clone of anything else. This right here, this is like one of the most masculine scents in my personal opinion. I, I love it. So, you know, like I say, I don't really waste time telling y'all about fragrances that I don't personally like that is an amazing scent so like I said Valentine's Day is coming up I want y'all out doing something different hey if you if you broke I still want you to celebrate Valentine's Day I want you doing something different I want you to invite that significant other over I want you to lay out a blanket on the floor in the middle of your living room light some candles cook a dinner, have a picnic inside. That's you Now, if you're in a warmer climate, take that outside. Have that picnic outside, find a waterfront if you can. Make it amazing. That's what I want you to do. Now, if you have some money, I don't want you doing the regular dinner in a movie. I want you to go on a boat ride. I want you to go uh, a horse and carriage ride. Um, I... The gondola rides, if you have that. I want you doing something that she has never done before, and I want you to make memories. That's what I want. And uh, I'm going to put out another video soon. It's definitely going to be before Valentine's Day with some other stuff. But definitely, these right here, these are for the mature gentlemen. That's what I want y'all wearing. Now, if you a little bit younger... I got some other fragrances that I think will work for you. And uh, we're still going to be doing the uh, the black-owned fragrance houses with black-owned businesses. But this was the Valentine's Day to get you ready for Valentine's Day with fragrances you should be looking for. Also, oh, you know what? Another amazing scent for Valentine's Day, Toy Boy. It has that, um, that nutmeg and rose note in it. You cannot go wrong with that one either. So, uh, man, get all of those, which if you can get any of them, though, the most cost effective to me would be lethal. This one would probably be the cheapest out of all of them. But if if price is no option whatsoever, cost in the, doesn't matter, you, you rolling in it, the Louis Vuitton, the Ombre Nomad, the Ombre Nomad.
you can't go wrong. I mean, hey, this is one every time for me. Every time. Now, if you're a single man, I want you managing, excuse me, not managing, I want you minding your masculine demeanor. I told you, asymmetrical, but still leave opening. I don't need you. That body language right there is not going to work. This right here. And they will come to you. Trust me. It works every time for me. So, mind your demeanor. Strong and stoic. Asymmetrical. It works. So, man, I appreciate y'all. I've been getting a lot of views. I want y'all also to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'm on IG. Either look up T. Harris or Quintessential Bachelor. It will come up. And, uh, man, if you got a question about any fragrance or you want to know my thoughts on certain fragrance, or, hey, if you got a topic you want me to speak on, because, uh, you know, I do go on tangents sometimes and uh, give y'all advice. People ask me advice all the time, and I'm, I'm going to get back into the advice. But uh, definitely, man, look, keep following Keep sharing, keep subscribing, and uh, we're going to keep on doing this. Man, I love y'all to death.